Jared, will you update us if you have any updates on the Simpson case? Uh, I think the only new information is there's been a bar complaint filed against me personally alleging that I am lying to the town about the amount of attorney's fees and that the attorney's fees are so high, so extraordinary, that it can't be explained other than some sort of inappropriate behavior and that it is me lying to the town and I'm hiding the fact that what is actually there is the judge sanctioning me personally, which would have to be in an order, would have to be clearly laid out. Um, but that this this person, I'm pretty clear, they're supposed to be anonymous, it's pretty clearly a lawyer based on the complaint, um, is alleging that I have committed a violation of the rules of professional responsibility because I'm lying to the town because I'm hiding the fact that I've been sanctioned instead of this just being the amount of attorney's fees that have been awarded. Um, so the bar has sent me a letter. They are opening an investigation into this, into my behavior. Um, and of course, I think we all know it is completely ludicrous. Um, it's kind of hard to believe what people will think up or believe, but all of this is clearly public record. We've got the orders that clearly state this is the amount of attorney's fees. So I would have to be a complete idiot to think that I could get away with something like this if I was actually trying to do this in some way. Um, but personally, I read it more as a, a, a complaint against Judge Stein that there's clearly something going on here that these are the amount of attorney's fees that have been awarded. Um, and I agree with that. I, there is clearly something wrong, as we've discussed multiple times. Um, so I'm hopeful that the investigation will be rather short and sweet when they see the order saying that these are, in fact, the attorney's fees that have been awarded. Um, but uh, that's sort of the, the response. Um, and I, I'll just say when we, Delegate Austin and I guess Delegate Hitt at the moment, um, they hadn't really heard or been keeping up with the case when we told them it was you know, 40000 for just damages and 200000 in, in costs and attorney's fees. They were um, both seemed taken back, to say the least, shocked and uh, a little bit dumbfounded that that was in any way anyone thought that that was reasonable or appropriate. So. Um, it seems to be consistent with the rest of this case is everyone sees it for what it is and how ridiculous it is other than unfortunately um, the other side and the judge but that's where we are um, so I'm going to file the notice of appeal um, before too long and then we'll start the appellate process and then we're just sort of at the mercy of the appellate courts until we hear something from them but um, hopefully they will have the same reaction that most folks have when they hear this is that can't possibly be right um, because it can't possibly be right. And who handles that uh, investigation, Jerry? It would be the state bar. Okay. Now, um, this bar complaint, say for example, it, it's not true because, as you said, there are this paperwork verifying how much <laughs> Judge Stein has said that the town owes, but is this going to hamper you as our town attorney from proceeding with the appeal and anything else we're working with? No, it shouldn't. Even if they decide to go forward, that's going to be a months-long process before there's any sort of actual determination, but I'm hopeful that um, the thing is the the bar has the authority when they receive a complaint to just read it and say that's ridiculous we're not pursuing it and you really don't ever even really know that someone's filed a complaint um, but this apparently has triggered the investigation stage so they're at the very least thinking there's something there worth looking at um, but I'm hopeful once they actually start looking at it and I mean look at the order um, it'll be concluded fairly quickly well on the flip side of that if if the bar does look at that and they see the outrageous amount that Judge Stein has 
placed on the town, uh, will that cause them to maybe question his play in all of this? I don't think the state bar will get involved. If they have any concerns, they won't address anything involving uh, the judge's behavior. They'll say that is for the uh, judicial board? judicial ethics. Okay. I hate to say it, but I get that a lot. I watch you do it. I appreciate that. Appreciate that. Well, does anybody notify them about what he's doing? Uh, do you ask for more? I haven't yet um, filed an ethics complaint against Judge Snyder. How long do we have to file that? Uh, there's no real statute we can file at any time. So are we just waiting to see how things come down and then uh, if by chance we have to do that, instead of putting one bullet of something that we disagree with, we would have several bullets of things we disagree with? That's the general idea, yeah. So that's all I have. So you get on that? Okay. 